Hello, world! Dave here, and welcome back to Let's Play Penny Arcades on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 4! The finale of the series. Not of this game, not of these videos. I wish. No, I don't. I don't. I enjoy, I enjoy doing these videos. Just, I don't have a lot of time, and... This is a disgustingly creepy castle. This game seems... The, this era, the Underhell seems to have a thing about putting mouths on inanimate objects. Also, about completely inaccessible entrances. But this is clearly where we we're supposed to go, right? Make our way through the desert? Alright... Craig Kilnborn? Uh good luck with that. Yeah, some of these mouths they look well I'm I'll, I'll I think I'll stop there. Huh, that's a very convenient coincidence. So, I have a feeling that we are go about to, re to reconvene right about now, but... It's also nice that they let us uh, backtrack through the dungeon in case we miss something, because, you know, that's the whole point of having this persistent, uh, persistent world, at least. Train stop, uh, let's just uh, check around and see if there's anything worth mentioning at this train stop. She acts like she owns a shop, but she's not selling things. Oh, maybe this one? Probably not, considering that the guy's just letting me just raid a mocha right out of his, uh, right out of his luggage. Also, hey, back door. That goes nowhere. But, whatever. Let's just go ahead and, uh... Who needs speed the most? Leviathan. Definitely Leviathan. Oh, but that magic ring is... It makes up for the fact that Leviathan really is kind of crap right about now, so... Actually, yeah, considering how crap Leviathan is compared to the rest of our party... I mean, we got so much better... I mean, he's a... Leviathan's the Mario of the party, but it doesn't really do anything particularly well. But then again, he is still better than the goo. So... I guess we... Just leave him as is? Dr. Blood seems like the wrong trainer for him, but... Eh. Clearly, magic is not his thing. So let's go ahead and give him a mocha. And... I think we'll just leave this magic ring for... Just lying around. Hey, what's going on? You are a strange person. You are a very strange person. Also, he... No, I'm gonna shut my mouth there. But yeah, let's just make our way through... Through this, uh... Yeah! That's pr <laughs> Yep, it's gonna be exactly like bef We're just... We're about to meet up with our... With our favorite, uh, With our favorite skeleton and, uh, the ex-wife. But before we do that... Nice little cave. I'd say there's no ba no bad time for Spelunkin, so why don't we head through this cave and uh, maybe get ourselves uh, some nice uh, loot for our trouble here. Kamikaze Bombo. Ooh. Uh, if these guys are kind of kamikaze, I say just defend, 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 defend. I was expecting more kamikaze. Well, you know what, I could probably still, uh... Yeah, you know, we'll just, uh... I have no idea how to handle this, but, uh... Guess we'll just, uh... 
probably try to smother one of these guys, and... I s I'm still waiting for the Kamikaze here. Yeah, well, uh... I guess probably... Yeah, okay, these guys are pretty weak to, to any kind of water damage, and... Still waiting for that Kamikaze, but you know what? Since these guys are weak to water damage, let's... Uh, Let's just keep uh, defending with Leviathan and uh, and just keep trying to to just water wet these guys down to nothing. Uh, not enough MP. Damn. And uh, we'll just defend again. And all right, these guys are only weak to ice to aqua, so we'll just. Uh, Hopefully we can dampen the, the spirits of these guys enough that it does, that doesn't become too much of a problem. Also, maybe uh, start throwing out some potions around. Yeah, Scream Cone is probably more important to do that with. And then... Finally, Tidal Wave up! And see if we can't follow that up. Well, <laughs> our favorite piece of goo is probably going to be doing just PG when it comes to keeping up this keeping up this barrage. And while I'm at it, you just th keep throwing p potions around. I probably really wasn't paying attention to who I was throwing potions on. Ah, well. Smother's just gonna run out eventually, and, uh... Just keep defending. That is probably... Yeah, and I'm out of potions. Ah, well. Uh, just... Oh, I guess we can just uh, keep trying with what do we have here. Besides, this guy's about to go down anyway, so... Basic attack, and another smother. As well as just... Defending. You're gonna die, Scream Cone, but don't worry. Also, when the hell did our party get rearranged? You're not even supposed to be here, Gumez. But then again, Leviathan's also proving to be underperforming, so... Well, considering this this particular fight, I think we'll leave him as is, but... Yeah, we'll... Vendor out, Gumez in. If we run into anyone that looks like they might be weak to fire, we'll switch back. And Brave Leechy! Alright, uh... I believe it was the... Yeah, Leviathan needs it most. Oh, well, even though he's on, even though, yeah, Leviathan definitely needs. Le if he's going to be that weak as far as stats go, he needs to be at least well rounded as far as actual. You know, he needs to actually be able to do some decent damage. So I'm just curious. Did I pass up something? I feel like I passed up something on the other fork there. But let's deal with this uh, Terror Dad first. So. Right, this guy is gonna. This guy probably, probably weak to wind. I'd say doesn't like getting the wind knocked out of the sail. So, well, let's just try with everything here. Soda spray. Ha <laughs> ha. That sounds like it. That sounds like it might be a good. I'm liking. I'm liking vendor already. But uh, let's just. Uh, Sometimes a turn defending is not on a turn wasted, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Tickle didn't do anything, I guess we'll just, uh... Well, I might as well keep using that anyway, and just... Spray him! Skydive, and maybe some Ice Shard should be enough. Weak to fire, huh? 
And wind. Ow. Okay, now. Well, at least we know he's weak to wind. On the downside... Ow. So... Punch him. Please dispense a cold... Please dispense a cold one for Mr. Beaks, and we'll do another power-up dive bomb. Also... Let's keep him... Keep him off Mr. Beaks. Yeah, this guy... Wow, Pterodad deals a... Bunch of damage here. This is gonna be a... Well, just... Uh... No, not that. I shouldn't have done that one. Ah, well, as long as we keep uh, having uh, this little tankiness going here, I think we should be able to finish finish him off relatively quickly. Also, maybe uh, an ice cold just to kind of be on the safe side. There we go. And over here, for our troubles, a rope spitter arrow. Boost item affects 25%. Hmm. Something tells me that or, that this might be better. Th yes, yes. Uh, he'll. I think our favorite vending machine is going to love that. And uh, considering you know that's that the whole I that, that whole item shtick is what he does. Although now that I think of it, how much money do we have? We are going to need to get some uh, effect ups for the, so, for so that way our vending machine doesn't fall behind. He needs better stock. I mean, seriously, a hundred damage on an enemy that's weak to fire. Yeah, well, can't get them all. But I have a feeling this is going to be more of the same. So let's just uh. So I'm just going to defend here and. Uh... Well, we're probably going to focus on the mom first. Benny, I find that I find that vending machine's attack animation kind of funny, but well, can't well we can't always laugh at everything. So let's just uh, I think we just go with flip out here, cause and another dive bomb. Another ice shards. Sadly, no. Sadly, we do not have op the option of a blizzard here. Uh, sad. Oh well. Just keep this. We're gonna need a flavor wave for next for the next round here. But uh, let's see here. Just uh, defend for a turn. And I guess we do another power-up dive bomb and soda spray and, like I said, flavor wave come incoming. Wow, he gets his turn really quickly. After a different... Whoa! Also, the... I just kind of noticed that the Leviathan is still in the defend animation, even though he should be dead. Well, you might want to dispense a cold one there. And let's go ahead and uh, just... Might as well actually have, have our favorite item. Or we could do that. Well, at least these two, the remaining guys here should go down to physical attacks. I felt like I did miss something going going the other route here, but and this is certainly a large cave. And it looks like it would have been easy to miss that three grand. Let's just uh, finish up exploring this floor and uh, then we'll, we'll explore the next finish up exploring this room, then next time we'll explore the next room. Hmm. So well actually that looked like it was everything, I think. Yeah, that was everything. I am not just... I was just about to walk around in circles there for a second. Actually, it seems like that was everything in this cave. I was expecting there to be a second room or something like that, but no, no. 
just a big cave with a couple of treasure chests. Nothing huge, but hey, hey, I'll gladly take that robe for I'll gladly take that robe for our uh, for for vendor there, and I'll happily take the three grand. Just need a shop to spend it at. Actually, come to think of it, don't I have like some? Yes, I do have that mail order axe for our Leviathan, and did I buy a spare sword? Yes, I did. So let's go ahead and give that to Mr. Beaks. And that might actually help him a little bit. Mm. Now he seems to like the bearded axe better. So we'll stick with that for him. And... Goose could use the little fang a little bit. I mean, that would be handy. Hmm. Sure. This seems like a nice, uh... Nice loadout, and yeah, that's everything in that cave. So... Let's just head back to the world map, and uh, next time, we'll make our way to the tower and uh, proceed to stomp on. To proceed to take it down. Hopefully, the village underneath is not in the least bit damaged. Until next time, everyone, I'm Dave. Take care.